Well, here we are on Windows 11, and it looks like Microsoft is still doing the same thing they did in 10, where they are not letting you skip this Microsoft account thing. Or so you think you can't skip this. You actually can. But yeah, so this only happens on Windows 10 Home, or gosh, I just said Windows 10. I'm so hooked on 10. Windows 11 Home or let's just say any home edition of Windows, right? So they want you to use that Microsoft account. If you do Pro, uh, you do have the option to actually domain join and skip that. And if you think if you do education, you have to sign in as well, but I'm not too sure. But this is a Windows 10, Windows 11 uh, thing here on home edition. So yeah, here we are, you see it says sign in and your only options are to sign in with the security key and there's also these sign in options right here. If you click on the sign in options, the only thing you get is sign in with the security key or forget my username. And you can't skip it. So to most people it appears like, well, I guess I have to either make an account or sign in with the one I already got. But it's actually pretty simple uh, to skip this step. So really all you gotta do is somehow disconnect your computer from the internet. So uh, in my particular case, I'm on a virtual machine, so I can either just turn the Wi-Fi off on my laptop, or I can go up here into my devices menu if it'll actually come down. Yeah, there we go. So I can go in there, I can go to network, and I can just undo my network adapter just like that. And now what we can do is we can just go back right here, and it should, uh, kind of reload this page and we should be able to domain join instead. Now if you're on a you know traditional Windows PC there may be other ways to turn your Wi-Fi off. One thing you can easily do is during the Windows setup just don't connect to Wi-Fi right away. Do that later uh, after you go through these setup windows. Uh, but most laptops should now have the ability uh, to turn off the Wi-Fi from your function keys. So I've seen a lot of PCs uh, on one of the function keys. You can just hit the wireless button. It turns it off. Some even have physical switches or things like that. But you just need to figure out some way to disconnect from the internet temporarily. And as you can see, now it says who's going to use this device. So that means we're good to go with a domain join instead. And then it says create your password and that's it. You don't have to sign in to your Microsoft account. So it's really that simple. You just got to disconnect from the internet some way, somehow. And then once you get through this screen right here, you can just turn your Wi-Fi back on and you should be good to go. But yeah, guys, just want to make that quick video for you. Uh, let me know if you have any problems with that. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching as always. And I will catch you on the next video.